Hi children, welcome back to our EVS class. I am your Dinomus here. Today we shall see the second chapter in science. And the name of the chapter is Adaptations for Survival in Plants. Okay, I will repeat it. Adaptations for Survival in Plants. Okay, now all of you are at home, right? If it was a vacation, what you would have done? You would have gone to your relative's home, went out for a picnic, went to some park, hotels, etc. Right? But now you are all closed or locked inside the four walls of your houses. And you are adapted to it, isn't it? Or else you would move around. Now you are adapted that you are not supposed to move outside your home. It is because of Corona. Right? In the same way, Certain plants develop special features in order to survive in an environment. Okay, so that is called your adaptation. Clear? So when you go out now, you should wear your mask, wash your hands frequently, okay, with soap and water. So this is all the precautions what you take. In the same way, plants have special features which allow them to survive in an environment. And that is called your adaptation. Okay, what is it called? Adaptation. A-D-A-P-T-A-T-I-O-N-S. So, what is adaptation? The special features that allow an organism to live in a particular environment. That is called your adaptation. Is it clear? Okay. So now, when you take your cactus plant, okay, you know what is a cactus plant? Yes, it is a plant that lives in desert. So in cactus plants, do you see leaves? No. Why? Because there is water scarcity in desert. So if they have leaves, they will lose water by transpiration. So in order to prevent it, the leaves of cactus is reduced to small spines. Okay, that we learned in our first chapter. So that is the adaptation of cactus plant to live in desert. Okay, now shall we move to the next one? That is called your habitat. What is it called? Habitat. Okay, habitat is a place where a living thing lives or grows naturally. Okay, when a thing comes out naturally in a place, that is called your habitat. Okay. So, this habitat is of two types. How many types you have? Two types. Okay. So, the first type of habitat is called terrestrial habitat. What is it called? Terrestrial habitat. T-E-R-R-E-S-T-R-I-A-L. Terrestrial habitat. Okay. And the second one is called aquatic habitat. What is the second one called? Aquatic, A-Q-A-T-I-C. So what is terrestrial habitat? Terrestrial means land. So what the plants which grow on land is called your terrestrial habitat. Okay, which grows on land. Okay, that is called your terrestrial habitat. Is it clear? Example is your mango tree, banyan, tomato. Okay. Brinjal, your fruits, all the vegetables, okay? So, all that are called your terrestrial habitat. So, what is terrestrial? The plant that grows in land is called your terrestrial habitat, okay? Now, the second one is called aquatic habitat. What is the second one called? Aquatic. So, you know what is aquatic? Aquatic are the plants which grow in water. Where do they grow? They grow in Water. Okay. What are the examples? Lotus, water hyacinth, hydrilla, water lily. Is it clear? So, we saw what is adaptation, what is habitat and what are the two types of habitat. Is it clear? Okay. Now, we are going to see about our next topic. Okay. That is your terrestrial habitat. We told terrestrial habitats are the plants which grow in land. Which grow on land. Okay. So now when you take land. Your land is again divided into many types. Your plains. 
desert, hilly areas, marshy land, coastal plains. Okay. So now we'll be seeing which are the plants, what climate they have and how they grow in these different places. Okay. So now what are your five different areas? This plains, deserts, hills, marshy places and coastal areas. Okay. Now shall we see the first one? What is the first one? Plains. Okay. In the plains, the summer is too hot and the winter is too cold. Okay. You will have extreme climate. Summer is hot and winter is cold in your plains. And the trees what grows there have many branches. Okay. And these trees shed their leaf during autumn. And they have new growth during the spring season. Okay. So in autumn they shed their leaf. And during your spring season they have new sprouts coming up. Okay. So the examples of trees which grow in plains are mango, neem, people, sesame, etc. Okay. Now shall we see the next one which is called deserts. The second one is plants which are adapted to grow in desert. So you know desert, it is very hot and the water is very scarce or you will not get water there. It is very limited. Plants which grow there do not have broad leaf. The leaves of the plants will be reduced to small spines. Okay. And the photosynthesis is mostly done by the green branches. Okay. So in desert plants, they will have branches which are green in color. Okay. And they will be doing the photosynthesis and they store the food for the plant okay so another one important thing in this plants are their roots will be very long okay that is because the water will be uh, the water available will be under the ground so they have to go deep into the ground and take the water okay that is why the roots will be very long and the leaves will be reduced to spine okay so what are the examples for your desert plant cactus, date palm and prickly pears. Is it clear? So now we shall see about the next topic that is plants that grow in hilly areas or mountains. Okay. So these plants will be tall, straight and they will have conical shape. Okay. It is because in these places the climate will be almost cold throughout the year. And you can see frequent snowfall. Okay, so when these snowfall falls on the leaf, it should slide down easily. So the leaves are also waxy and needle The plants which grow in this hilly areas are uh, fir, pine and cedar. Which are the plants? Fir, pine and cedar. Okay, now the next one is plants that grow in marshy places. Okay, so in these places, the soil is clay and it is very sticky, okay, because of the presence of high water content. And because of this, the roots will not be able to get sufficient air. So above the ground, the roots will develop breathing roots, okay. And an example for a tree which grows in marshy places is called mangrove. What is it called? Mangrove trees, okay. And the last one is coastal areas. Now we are going to see the final one which is plants that grow in coastal areas. So in the coastal areas, the climate is hot and wet. What is it? The climate is hot and wet. So the plants are adapted to grow in salty water. Okay. And they have lot of leaves. The trees will have lot of leaves and they do not shed their leaves. Is it clear? And what are the plants that grow in coastal area? Coconut, teak and rubber. Is it clear? So we saw about terrestrial habitat. So the plants that grow in land are called your terrestrial habitat. So again based on the land it is divided into five types. They are plains, deserts, hills, marshy places and coastal areas. So Plains, you know, what is the climate there? So, what are the examples of the plants that grow there? Mango. Is it clear? Then, in desert, the climate is too hot 
Okay, water will availability is less. So what is the plant that grows there? Cactus. Okay. Now hills. Hills, you know, the climate is always cold and snowfall will be there. Okay. So the plant what grows there or the tree what grows there is pine. Okay. The next one is marshy places. So in marshy places, the soil will be clayey and sticky due to high water content. So what is the plant? This mangrove. What is it? Mangroves. And the final one is your coastal area. They are the seashore areas. Here the water will be salty. Okay. But what is the trees that you can find here? Coconut. Okay. Example is your coconut. With this, the first part of your chapter is over. I hope it is clear for everybody. Now dear children, that's all from me. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe the channel. Thank you. Take care. Be safe and be happy.